Hey guys, welcome. We're here in beautiful Johannesburg, South Africa, and I'm here with Alex Rosen. She's a marketing leader for Cisco's Global Partnerships, and today she helped lead an event called Bridge the Poverty Gap, which is basically an empathy exercise that helps employees take actions and give back to their communities. So Alex, can you please tell us what exactly this event was all about? Sure. So this event was really unique because it sits at the intersection of a couple different major initiatives at Cisco. Our recent campaign, which is based on our history and grounded in our purpose, that technology is key to solving some of the world's biggest problems, called the Bridge to Possible, as well as our corporate social responsibility efforts and goals to impact 1 billion lives by 2025. And finally, at the partnerships we have going on with global citizens and the nonprofit partners we invest in. So what we wanted to do was embody the spirit of all this and give a chance and a platform for employees to actively engage and participate in what's going on. And that's really wonderful. I think, you know, you describe this as an empathy exercise for employees, um, which is really great. So can you tell us how these employees were doing actions for social good? Absolutely. Um, we started first, before we take an action, we wanted to feel meaningful to someone. So we had partnered with Kiva to help educate our employees through some videos and some borrower stories about what Kiva does. And Kiva is a global nonprofit that uh, helps people help themselves and helps them fulfill their dreams by creating opportunities through microloans. Uh, what we wanted to do was kind of align that, align that also with the time of year it is and the fact that it's holiday season, we're all practicing gratitude, and then take those sentiments and that education to take action because that's where it really counts. And the actions that we asked them to take were to select a borrower, potentially make a loan to someone at Kiva, donate to the organization, or take action on Global Citizen's site. Awesome, so employees were you know, taking action by helping borrowers on Kiva's site, but employees were also helping Kiva themselves by providing feedback for their site, right? That's a really good point. So one of the benefits of it is with Kiva being a partner, they're always thinking about how do we inspire people to give back more or to have a good user experience. So we asked our employees who participated, what went into your choice of who you decided to make a loan to? And so those factors then can affect the web, the design of the website or the whole experience. Um, and the other thing I forgot to mention was Cisco helps match the donations that employees do. So. Uh, not only are we rewarding and recognizing and accounts towards our goal of getting more employee volunteers this hour they spent today, but we'll also help match funds through Cisco Foundation. That's wonderful. Um, and you mentioned previously that Cisco, you know, has had a partnership with Global Citizen. Um, we were part of the New York, New York City Global Citizen Festival a few months ago, which was really fantastic. And now we are here um, in South Africa, where in a couple of days there will be another festival. So Alex, can you tell us a little bit more about what Cisco is doing here in South Africa for the Global Citizen Festival? We are so excited to be partnered uh, with Global Citizen and specifically for this Mandela 100 Festival honoring Nelson Mandela's legacy to reduce inequality, reduce extreme poverty. Cisco's CEO Chuck Robbins will be taking the stage along with some other amazing world leaders and musical artists and artists in general to talk about Cisco's commitment in this fight against poverty and what we're doing. We'll also be on ground um, with a booth that's kind of like our living billboard, celebrating our new Cisco campaign as well as talking about the human, basic human right of having access to clean water and sanitation and the importance of it and kind of doing another empathy exercise there in a sense. That's wonderful. Um, I'm so looking forward to seeing what you guys have prepared for the booth and also what Chuck Robbins is going to be announcing at the festival. So we hope to see you guys soon and Alex, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.